Philip flying in the 701 today. Uh, we're going to try out the new Dynon Avionics D2 little uh, artificial horizon. Uh, I don't have any artif artificial horizon in the 701. All I have is just an airspeed altimeter, ESI, and the ball, and my engine instruments and radios. Now we're going to see how accurate uh, my altimeter is off of it. It's got a GPS, and it does have a ball. We'll see how, how well it performs today. We're going to do a run up on the 701. We have a Rotex 912S, which is 100 horsepower. Bring it up to 4,000 RPM. Check my right ignition. Go back to both. Middle left. And back to both. All looks good. Controls clear and free. I have my gas on. Doors locked secure. And I do have the flaps down for a short takeoff. I'm just going to let the, the oil warm up a little bit more. I do have an oil flapper door that I can close in and let it warm up a little bit faster. Now, I believe the, the Dynon D2, we can change the brightness. There we go. Well, since we're in daylight, we're going to change it to the brightest setting we can achieve. There we go. Okay, we change the screen setting on the Dynon D2, and we go to, uh, it's a G-load, G-meter. We have the positive and the negative, and still got the GPS ball and our uh, altimeter. Press and hold it again, we go back to our artificial horizon. Okay, temperatures look great. Hold still clear and free. We're going to keep our oil door closed. Yeah, Mexico traffic Experimental is going to be departing runway to, uh, 18 Mexico. That's 4 o'clock. What are you doing? I had a little video and uh, tape in here. Okay, he's a stick back. Nose comes right up. And bring up the flaps. Yeah, my ball went to the right, and so did my D2, so it's pretty accurate according to my, uh, my slip indicator. Beautiful day flying, just uh, had a lot of rain this morning, now it's kind of cleared up. Lots of rain in the fields today. supposed to go on our annual uh, fly out camp out this last week and weekend but we postponed it and we'll try to do it later in the year and I always enjoy going out flying the 701 out on a camp out but it's meant to really be we'll get out here away from the airport and I'll do some turns steep turns and see how well my D2 works I think the D2 would make a nice little backup instrument in, uh, you know, in an airplane that's not equipped with the uh, artificial horizon. A little choppy out today. Not too bad. Alright, let's go ahead and set up on a south, southerly heading. And we've got the, the section lines. Now we'll go ahead and do a 180 degree turn. Try to use my artificial horizon. Climbing a little bit of altitude there. 701 is very easy to climb. go back to the south. All right, 
right, let's do some slow flight. Bring the power back. And let's start uh, bringing the nose back to and bleed off that airspeed and get into the white arc and uh, we'll deploy our flaps. Okay, we're right at 60 miles an hour. We'll deploy the flaps. And our GPS uh, ground speed is showing 31 and that is in knots. Our airspeed is showing about 41, 42. We can definitely get it slower than that. 29 is our uh, ground speed. And we're indicated at about uh, in the 30 somewhere. When you're flying this, this attitude and uh, these speeds, it's hard to look at so many instruments. You really need to just uh, get a good, good feel for the airplane and look outside. All right. Bring the flaps back up. I love flying the 701, the visibility in a turn. You can see right out the, over the wing. Majority of airplanes you just can't see over the wing. to the temperature, so we'll go ahead and uh, let the air flow over the cooler. Very easy to see the D2, and it's actually pretty bright out today. I just noticed it does have a compass also. We'll see how accurate it is. We'll get on a section line. Should be pretty close to 90 degrees. Yep, 89, right at 90 degrees. Now we'll try to go 180. Uh, yeah. 180, 180, right there. Well, let's go back and do a few landings. Uh, that's, that's actually the funnest part of the 701 is the takeoff and landings. Very responsive, very quick takeoffs. And landings, you can uh, develop a high sink rate, very steep approach, which is quite interesting compared to a lot of airplanes that you have the way you land. Mexico traffic, Spare Mall 701 is going to enter a left downwind for runway 18 Mexico. Okay, beam the numbers. We'll pull back power a little bit. Bring up the nose just a little bit to bring uh, to bleed off the airspeed, so we can uh, get the flaps down. And we're right now at 70, uh, 65, and we're at 60. So what we're doing is we're going to lift up the flaps and push them down. And we're going to lower, lower lower our nose. Mexico traffic, Spamo 701 is base to final for 1-8 Mexico. And we're to 
Jackson in about 500 feet a minute. We're staying in very close to the airport. We uh, turn on final. I'll start bringing the nose up a little bit, develop a little higher sink rate. Probably keep in a little bit more power until we touch down. As, as, as I'm pulling the nose back, the slats will start working, and I'll need a little bit more power to slow that sink rate down. Uh, you can land more flatter like a, a certified airplane or a more of a conventional airplane like our 650 or our cruiser, but you're not going to land as short as you will in the 701. And start bringing the nose up just a little bit and start at full power. Sometimes it's a little tricky to uh, land on the exact spot that you're wanting to land on because uh, you're trying to control that sink rate. But uh, once you get the main wheels touched, your, your ground roll is almost nothing. open house in September here at Zenith, and uh, last year was our first year for our stole event. Uh, it was an excellent event, we had a great time. So I guess I can say I'm practicing today, uh, had a little competition last year, and uh, I beat out of, my own, out of my own backyard, so I need to practice a little bit. I'll go around again and do one more landing. Okay, we're coming up, beam the numbers. Power back, bring the nose up, wide arc, flaps down, nose down. And we'll be a little bit more aggressive on this one. Staying a little tighter, a little higher, and develop a higher sink rate once we hit final. Alrighty. That was a fun day in the 701.